What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you are having a wonderful day. It is September 30th, 2020. The Dow Jones is up 329 points. The Nasdaq's up 82 points. And the S&P is up 27 points. I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. The market really just wasn't that exciting. The only thing there was to talk about was Micron earnings. We didn't even really move that much. It was kind of just a cuck day. I just wasn't really feeling it. But today, I got earnings that are coming up in the next week or two, a few plays, and a couple things I noticed throughout the market so let's get right into it be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and leave your comments below with any news or option plays you guys are looking at now let's get right into the earnings plays we got pepsi and bed bath and beyond and both of these have earnings tomorrow before the market opens so be sure to keep an eye on these if they move big we gotta watch out for that weekly continuation play but as you can see pepsi was only pricing in like a two three dollar move and it's already moved pretty big so i'm not expecting much from that and Bed Bath & Beyond's barely even pricing in $2. And they've already had a big run-up compared to how much they normally move. Not expecting much from this either, but if either of them do surprise, you just gotta keep your eye out. I've been seeing Carnival Cruises has earnings here in this week or next week, but literally everything I've looked at has a different date, so I'm really not sure on that. But I am expecting it coming up soon. Most likely October 2nd, because that's what it says on Thinkorswim. So I'm just gonna assume that one's right, but I really don't know. And then next week on the 8th of October we have Delta Airlines and Domino's Pizza. Domino's I'm really interested in although the options are really expensive. I might just play Papa John's because it might get some volatility off of Domino's earnings. Papa John's was up a lot like a month or two ago and then they've just kind of been falling off but Domino's has been doing really good so maybe Papa John's could be lagging or maybe Domino's could be too expensive I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait till probably the first or second day before earnings on Domino's to decide if I want to play Papa John's or Domino's. Papa John's doesn't have earnings until like November though, so it would just be a secondary play to play off Domino's because Domino's might be too expensive on the options. And for Delta Airlines, I'm not really expecting much for the airlines. I might just play American Airlines as a secondary, maybe get like a Boeing yearly. I'm not really sure. It just depends what the option prices are. I'm not going to get into those plays this week, so I'm just going to be keeping my eye on them. Now today was a pretty interesting day because we were killing it all day, and then we had a pretty big sell-off here at the end of the day and here at the bottom of the sell-off I was able to pick up a couple coke options and with those I was able to flip them out real quick and make a contract free so if PepsiCo goes insane on earnings maybe they have like crazy drink numbers or something maybe coke will gain some volatility off of that and start running up but I got a next week like 51 play I believe I got three of them at $11 and then they shot up to 17 I flipped two of them out so so now I'm just holding a play for free. I'm realizing with this flipping strategy, it works really well, but you should probably buy more contracts if you are able to risk more money because it's just more beneficial. You're able to flip out of the contracts quicker and get your money back if you don't really want to hold them. That's kind of something I noticed on that. If I would have bought like seven, it could have been a lot better of a play because I could have maybe kept two or three options for free or I could have sold them all out earlier and I wouldn't have had as much risk on the table while we could could have possibly went another leg down but I really liked that play I thought it was really cool that's just something I learned from it the more contracts the more you can kind of manage your risk even though you're putting more risk on the table just keep that in mind I was gonna get in McDonald's puts right before it dropped because McDonald's has been super volatile on the downside lately whenever we have these sell-offs they've just been killing it more than any of the other food type stocks I would say besides beyond beyond's going insane right now kind of missed the train on that but I was looking Looking at these 207.5s right before the drop happened, they were like $25 because the spreads were pretty wide. And they ended up hitting like $50 at the end of the day. I know the spreads say $32.44 right here, but this thing actually ran up. I think the spreads were like 40 something and then like 52 or something on the ask at one point. So just another stock to look at if we ever have one of these climbs again and we start selling off like this. You guys can keep your eyes on that because some of these options on McDonald's move pretty big. Even this 205, it was like $18, maybe even 15 before the drop. And then I think it went up to like 30 something. So 
pretty good flip right there. And if you bought multiple contracts, you could have possibly freed one out and just held it or whatever you wanted to do. There's so many strategies you can do in the stock market. I love it so much. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Watch Johnson & Johnson. They've kind of been everywhere lately. I'm looking to see more upside on Johnson & Johnson, but I wanted to get in this 152.5 play the past like week. And I could have got in it this morning it, for literally the lowest price it's been, like 30 bucks. And then it shot up all the way to 60. Oh no, it went up to like 70. So that was a really awesome call play. On the debate last night, Trump shouted out Johnson & Johnson and Moderna and a few other companies. I don't really remember which ones, but Johnson & Johnson got a lot of positive movement from that, I can see. Even though they were already kind of on the way up anyway. I keep an eye on Dollar Tree as well. The play I was looking at last week, this 92, I can't remember if it was an October 9th or 2nd, but the October 9th one hit like 200 bucks, and the October 2nd one hit over 100 so that was a really awesome play from last week, but unfortunately we didn't get into it. The spreads were super wide, but I really liked that one. I always think it's cool when I think a stock can go up to a certain price and the options are kind of in a favorable price range, but I still kind of predicted it even though I didn't buy it. I don't care if it leaves without me. I just like watching the move, even though it doesn't really do anything unless you actually play the play. And yeah, I've watched Apple, Microsoft, Facebook. Apple and Facebook have been killing it. I'm kind of surprised about Facebook. I should have known it was lagging behind all the other tech stocks, but yeah, we kind of messed up on that one. Contract I was looking at was up like over $100 today. But the Microsoft yearlies have been staying at the same price. Even though we kind of killed it today, contracts went up a little bit. I was going to get in one this morning because they were kind of cheap, but I didn't end up pulling the trigger and they left without me. But that's okay because I'm still being patient with these yearlies. I know as soon as we get volatility downwards, all these premiums are going to get clapped. But if we get volatility upwards, I'm just going to get left behind and that kind of sucks. For some reason, eBay is just getting obliterated right now. I don't really know why. My play was doing awesome and the past two days, I guess eBay's been selling off pretty big. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that play. I might just hold it because it's till November. It covers earnings, so no point in really selling it, I would say. And yeah. I also thought Apple was interesting because we're still at the same price on this 245. Like I sold this contract for 260 when Apple was at 109 last week. So it's kind of weird that we're up here at like 116 and we're lower than when I sold it. I know there's not that much volatility upwards or maybe the market's just not expecting a move upwards. That's why I keep thinking we're going to see downside because these option contracts are barely even moving. Keep an eye on the UVXY. I didn't even notice this went up today, but it ended up spiking a little bit, probably because of the sell-off right here. The UVXY was going up even before the sell-off. As you can see, the sell-off wasn't until 2.10, and the UVXY was steadily going up all the way since like 12 o'clock. So that's kind of interesting. Keep your eyes on that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave your comments down below. Any news, option plays you guys are looking at. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.